how do you even frame a video where you're wearing an entire garden on your head? What I find very interesting is that I feel like I look a lot different than I did in the last one of these, but it wasn't that long ago at all and I haven't really done anything extensive. Like I watched that and then I look at myself now and I'm like, okay. Last time I said every one of my family was sick. Well, you know, plot twist, change of pace. Now I'm ill. I'm not really anymore, but for the past like week, week and a half or so, I've had some kind of chest funk. Chest funk. That sounds like a band. Editing all of my coughs out of this video will be fun. First of all, the giant towering scary thing out of the way that I haven't really talked about. I talked about it on Snapchat like twice. I haven't really talked to any of my friends about it that much because I haven't quite come to terms with the fact of exactly what is happening to my face. I'm getting braces. You know, I don't have a lot going for me here, but I figured, you know, my teeth are pretty great. I mean, I don't want to like go too in depth in the close ups because teeth kind of gross me out, but I mean, see, they're nice and straight and like relatively small and they all fit together great, right? No, wrong. Basically, this tooth and this tooth, yeah, these two right here are baby teeth. The adult teeth are still up here. So what I was soon informed of is that my adult teeth aren't coming down like they're supposed to, like this. They're like pointed like this. So that if they ever do start to move down, even just, just a little, just a little, just a little bit, they will rot my front teeth's roots and my front teeth will fall down and then there's no saving them because obviously these are adult teeth because at least one part of my mouth did the right thing and I would have to get fake teeth and I'm already enough of a grandma as it is so you know right when you're like well dang that is stressful how did we not notice that this was going on they come in and let me know my wisdom teeth are coming in sideways so you know it's exciting I am going to have braces put on my face Brace face, four eyes, so excited. Uh... Like, I've been going to the same dentist for like six years, and you didn't notice this? all the x-rays you've taken and had to retake because I have the gag reflex of like a tiny baby chimpanzee with a spoon down its throat, and you didn't notice that this is what was going on. I have been as diligent as to have these x-rays. I have put myself through the pain, through the torture of retching in a dentist office every six months for six years, and you couldn't even do me the slight favor, a little solid bro, a little, hey, just letting you know your face is all screwed up even more than the boys at school used to tell you, and you have to get a bunch of metal in your mouth, and it's so expensive. It's so expensive. It's like a car. I'm going to put a car in my face, okay? I, my blood pressure isn't ready for this. Thanks. Fine. Moving on to the next topic. So, you know, to kind of calm me down, to kind of minimize the stress, we're freaking moving. And then you're like, oh, where are we moving? And they're like, I don't know. General. Middle Tennessee area. They pretty much said, move your oldest daughter into a storage unit or your house won't sell. I'm just gonna sit on the, I'm just sit on the floor. I'm just gonna sit on the floor, catch up on the internet, you know, in my bare room. They'll probably like make me get rid of my curtains, make me like rip up the carpet. We go minimalist here. I need to calm down. <laughs> I need to calm down. I feel like you wouldn't know by watching this, by watching several things that I have unfortunately created that I hate yelling. The internet just brings it out of me. Like I turn on the phone and I'm just like, yeah. And then I turn off the phone and I'm like, oh yeah, no. No, I'm not thirsty. I just haven't drank in three days. Good things. Good things are also happening. I got my driver's license. I got my driver's license. Ooh. Whenever I have dreams, it's either a horrific nightmare or just drugs. And every single time I dream about Tyler and Josh from 21 Pilots, they hate me. So I'm like, what if I meet these kids and they hate me? Because I've, I've had like four or five dreams involving them and every single time, one of them's trying to kill me. So I devised a plan, right? Whenever the photographer lady says, you know, yeah, yeah, just, you know, like pretend to play or like strum out a little bit of a jam so that we could take your picture and it'll look really authentic and great. I'm going to like look at her soulfully pain in my eyes and just work up all kinds of emotion that would get me the golden buzzer on America's Got Talent. Speaking of which, America's Got Talent golden buzzer auditions. 10 out of 10, I cry every single time. Mood set, she'll get the lighting just right and the musical genius in me will be about to shine through and I will drop, I will drop the most melodic thing I am physically capable of. I'll never get naked in 
my shower behind closed doors But I'll never get naked in yours I'm not naked in your shower! Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not sorry Anyway, that's what's going on with me let me know what's going on with you. Does this count as a current event? Um, I always say stay salty, but don't be bitter because my name's Pepper, so stay salty, but it's also a pun because salty can mean like, you know, you're bitter about stuff. And I was like, don't be bitter, which is also a pun because it also relates to food. Just an explosion, not a cumulative event. That's not what the, that's not the title. In my last video, as I was doing the outro, I kind of said something like stay smart, stay safe, stay kind. And I thought that was really important because that's what I want people to have more of. And so I'm trying to mesh those together. But for now, what we're going to try is some variation of stay salty, stay smart, stay kind. Peace out. Gang. I am winded. Julian Smith, turn up. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>